A Crap Guide to D&D 5th Edition, The Race is by Joe Cat. So you picked your class. Hold on to your ass. It's gonna get crass because race is oh, part no. of the role you can play. Some sentient clay, a he, she, or they. A beast who gets real snarly. A regular dude named Charlie. I was not expecting the Joe Cat rap. I am pleasantly surprised. If homebrew is free, a big talking tree. Welcome to A Crap Guide to D&D. Did he just... He just spat that. He spat that like it was fire. I absolutely loved that. Ara Cockra, big fucking bird. You got some wings so you can fly. <laughs> and if non-weapon melees prefer, they get sharp talents to bit scratch a guy. Yeah. Or maybe you're more of an Asimar, still avian. If you lower the bar, angelic people with radiant energy or darkness if you flap your wings edgily. Yeah. Bug bears aren't actually bears at all, more like beastly orcs and just as tall, but oddly sneaky and your arms. <laughs> Bug bears are in fact sus. <laughs> Along, so you're really freaking good at playing basketball. But if going full beast is a little too far, you could always do half and decide to be a centaur, charging the enemy so they can readily get steadily back up while you're stomping them deadly. For a sneaky bunch, changeling's cool. You make a disguise, get a worthless tool. You can change your face to whatever race. There's nearly no limit who you can fool. So how, okay, who in chat has had a changeling actually be in Among Us though? I feel like someone in chat would have done this, right? The changeling is in fact just a red Amogus. Dragonborn, no, not the Skyrim kind, are likely the kid of a bard that'll find dragons really hot. So yeah. now you shoot acid. Or whatever other color your parents preferred acid. <laughs> the typical dwarf with a beautiful beard. You work with your hands and are physically sturdy. You seem informed about rocks, which is weird. Try not to obsess or the sesh will get wordy. I love that it's Stone Journer from Pokemon. This is actually kind of great. Elves are Papa's pricks, a dozen flavors to match and mix. They live a long time, don't sleep in said trance, and are hard to be charmed, so bards keep it in your pants. Pick a fear bulk, <laughs> a chill ass cow, most of which have druidic vow, and don't ask how, but they can turn invisible, which is a big concern. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Everything's fine. Janassi, elemental genie bastards. One of four elements that they have mastered in some way lets them do cool shit like water bend or have a fire breathing armpit. Gif I know a lot of people that I've played with have preferred Janassis. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why this is relevant, but a lot of people that I've played with have played Genasis. It seems to be a favorite class. Yankee and Gith Zarai. Elves that look like they want to die. All they're about is how they clash. Been around 40 years and their lore still trash. Short yeah. stack, stack, Gnome, stack, happy short folk who are smart and wise and cunning and know how to crack. crack, crack In the good crack. camouflage, be it sneaking or magic or cool roguish montage. Whack, whack is whack, the goblin. Whack. Small size hits hard on your noggin. Their nimbleness makes it hard to keep pace. They'll hide and bide, quick slide and hit your face. Muscles are in, though I have bias. So the hottest IMO is Goliath. They're eight feet tall, have <laughs> for the balls and can shrug off damage like one man riots. Half elves, the mutts and mules of D&D. Extra points to spend on two abilities and skills out the ass. It's the best of both races and backstories usually come from stupid places. I, I really do. I am biased towards half elves because half elves can go really funny places with uh, with lore and character building. Half orc, like I said, muscles are in. You're a ruthless brute who fights to win. Your crits get crits and you can terrify. And if you feel like it, you can say no when you die. If your luck yeah. is nasty, the halfling's good. You reroll ones and win like you should. And you're hard to scare, so go party with a dragon. And you can slip through if it's angry off the flag. And humans get a little <laughs> bit of everything. They lack gimmicks or special flair or anything and are all around average. You know how it is and the perfect pick if you're boring. Wasn't, weren't humans in fourth ed actually cracked because of their extra feats? I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was fourth ed, right? Because you could actually choose extra feats, right? Or was that three, five? I can't remember. It was either three, five or four, but no, humans were pretty busted, right? Races all the There's so many. It was 3 5. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. Thank you. There's plenty to choose from, too many. So come witness the list of this guy to all of the races. All the races. Like, I'm sure there's a reason you could say, like, uh, oh, it's coming up. Okay. I'm sure there's a, like, a, uh, logic a meta you could definitely min max classes if you wanted to but realistically i i, saw, I think everything was pretty playable in terms of races Goblin. they trust in a code be a god or communism or giant toad they're nice. a prideful chode so whenever you fail the more watch you retry means you go beast mode if you're an edgy avian kenku sneaky agile and crafty and can easily lie they can mimic kenku, voices yeah. to be a bit cheeky too bad they get bullied because they can't fly the cobalt if you want to just be Birdman, just play Kenku. Yeah! Oh, there's a mischievous one. They hate bright light, and there's often more than one. They can trick dumb fools and steal their jewels, but ganging up together can be pretty fun. Guess it's scaly hours, because lizard folk have sticks up their ass and can't take a joke. They can nice. bite and craft and stay a while underwater and have hard-ass scales to block cannon fodder. Loxidon are straight-up elephants. They're large size and thick high and make them dense. Got trunks to smell and are wise and mostly merry, but piss one off and you'll see they're damn scary. <laughs> want to breathe underwater? Lokatha is a fish. A straight-up fish. Literally just a fish. You're literally just play fish. Fish, any percent fish 
fish run, try to clear the campaign as just fish. Farmer starts high and get tons of resist. Say dry and you die, you're still just a fish. Big beastly bull is a minotaur. Got horns to charge if you run pretty far. Make him shit their pants while you're at it. Being big and scary is a habit. Speaking of orcs, superstitious and strong, but also often wrong with a minus two to end. That's okay, so to say you're aggressive and massive. Got angry parents means they're rarely passive. Cat girls rejoice. Tabaxi is here. Obsessed with stuff and quite the sightseer. Fast like a cat, get claws and climb far. Tons of coats like leopard, tiger, and jaguar. Tieflings a demon with a lot of looks. They're horny and hot and often a provoker in the lo Man, tieflings are seeing a resurgence with the new Baldur's Gate 3. Oh boy. I like seeing the, uh, what is it? Someone, so there have been comments about like playing a tiefling is awful as everyone's just racist against you. And it's just like, man, that's, isn't that the point? Like, I'm not, we're not saying it's right by any means, but man, like everybody hates on the tieflings. It's wild. Man, I, I, I call, I, I lovingly and affectionately call Baldur's Gate 3 racism simulator because God damn it, everything in that game is just super racist. It's, we, we acknowledge it's not okay. We can acknowledge that everyone is just, <laughs> well, maybe not everyone. A lot of people in Baldur's Gate 3 are just racist. The druids, oh, some of the druids are just insufferable. What is it, Kalga? Oh, she's insufferable. Or anyway, a lot of hate. It's normal, I guess, when you're a panty soaker. If you want to be nice. a big reptilian who's strong and hardy, then Tortle has a shell that's AC's a million. So have fun being a hermit immortal. Triton is just an aquatic elf who evolved itself in the continental shelf. And you're basically Aquaman. Fish can understand you. No, they won't do your laundry just because you demand to. The Verdon, like a goblin, but pretentious. Mind powers that make mystics contentious. Bunch of passive shit. What is this, peace hour? Come back and talk to me when you learn real power. You want to see pure blood like humans, but snaky. Never make a date with one. I hear they're flaky. Manipulate a bunch with magic resistance don't take their oral offer no matter the persistence this is this has to be supplemental material right i don't think this is in the blaze pa uh, base player's handbook this is supplemental handbooks right because i haven't heard of half of these in the second half your human mix is the callish star got a lot of mind shit that's really bizarre like telepathy dream protectively like angels if they couldn't be effectively i see I, a lot of these seem to be psionic so this is probably a psionic book the shifters like a half lycanthrope with four different types with exclusive features you can't transform at least not fully so you often look more like a freakish creature simic hybrids are a random fusion of aquatic things like a squid or a crab gain bonuses nice. depending which one so have some big pincers for new ways to stab Warf you're saying i can play as a cthulhu crab hell yeah forge robots forge for war don't have to eat or sleep or breathe and what's more is your tanky as well being hard to steal the only downside is you'll never truly feel the dalkin tells us nobody's perfect look like navi people without the long neck they get lots of bonuses the smarts not shocking good luck ever getting one to stop talking and that's the lot and always remember class race importance is pretty seldom use whatever you fancy make a chubby fighter dancing now you know how to pick your race you're welcome yeah, I mean, it is one of those things that everything, as far as I'm aware, is viable in some way, shape, or form. Most of the V2I plus uh, VTubers are tieflings. Could you say it's because they're horny? Ah, got them. <laughs> Bad pun aside. No, tieflings are great. I like them. This is all uh, expanded rule books. Okay, that's what I thought. I, it, it couldn't be base, uh, base player's handbook, so it had to be extended. No, I mean, there. that was a great video. I was not expecting Joe Cat to just start spitting rhymes, but you know what? I, uh, I kind of dig it, actually. I get puns. Oh, man, don't get me on puns. I, I, I love Ina Nee's puns. Let's put it that way. I love really bad puns and make really bad puns. That was awesome. I can't wait to see more of Joe Cat's content. It's been a, it's been wild to see how, uh, popular DD fifth has become and even in Baldur's gate three right now is just being absolutely amazing so uh yeah let's uh <laughs> i can't wait to see more DD fifth videos look up for that joe cat thank you excellent content as always and uh can't we see more of your 14 content